everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we're doing something completely off the wall, and we are going to be talking about Quantum Leap the Novel. Um, I'm just as confused and excited and shocked as you maybe are. If you don't follow me on Instagram, or you didn't back then, um, I scored, let's put this one aside for now, I scored a total of eight. Eight to begin with. I scored these plus the one I just held up and then I went back again and found this one tucked away. Either someone tried to hide it, I don't know. But uh, it was tucked away behind some other books and I finally found that one. So I have eight in all and I have, um, as of right now, I have on order book number two. Because I have book number one, book number four, so on and so forth. I have big... It, it's, the, it's the chair, y'all. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't my, you know. Um, but I, there's some holes in my, uh, <laughs> there's some holes in my collection uh, that I just started collecting on a whim. Um, anyway, so the first time I went to the, to the library and got the first eight, it was fill a bag um, of books for a dollar. I brought a trash bag. I'm not sure if you've see some, seen some of my book hauls where I talk about that. Um, I made out like a bandit. Anyways, this was one of those times. Uh, and then the other one I actually bought for a quarter, the one that I bought by itself. But I was stuck. Um, I was in a reading rut, uh, stuck reading The Talisman and a something, an ARC called The Obsoletes by Simeon Mills. Uh, neither one of these books are going anywhere for me. So I put them on pause and I just happened to open this up and started reading. I read this in a total of three sittings, um, a total of maybe 10 to 12 hours, roughly. I blew right through this. This was so much fun. I was a huge fan of the original television series. In fact, now that I've read this, uh, me, my wife, my uh, and my sons, they're, we're all watching it on Amazon. It's on Amazon Prime uh, IMDb Free Drive, which basically means it's basically like uh, regular television. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch uh, Quantum Leap with commercials, just like back in the day. Uh, but we've started that. We're already on episode six. We're watching two episodes a night. We're loving it so far. Um, it's been so long since I watched it that uh, I'm getting back into it. I don't remember anything from the original series. This um, is not part of the original series. It is canon. So you have uh, Sam, Al, uh, Tina, Gushy. With Gushy, there's, there's something that there's a... Sorry, I got this one mustache hair that's driving me nuts, but uh, Gushy in the book is, I think the last name is Gushman, but they spell it G-U-S-H-I-E. In the TV show, uh, what is it? Sorry, I just saw a fly over there. Um, in the TV show, it's Gushy, G-O-O-S-H-I-E. So there's a little bit of a, of a difference there. Um, but Al and Sam are the same exact characters in the book as they are in the TV show. It's just like watching um, Scott Bakula and Harry Dean Stanton. Is that right? I'm not sure. Should have done my research. There's also something uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of trivia for those <laughs> those of you uh, who enjoy things like that. I'm a bit of a nerd about things like this. So um, someone tweeted out to me that they had found some also, and they tweeted one of the books that they tweeted was this cover. But it's, it was called uh, Quantum Leap Carney Knowledge. You know, a play on carnal knowledge. Um, it's the same exact book. I looked it up. I did a deep dive into it. But this one was first. Um, the person on Twitter said that maybe they changed it because Carney was a derogatory term. That wasn't the case. This one came out in November of 1992. Carney Knowledge came out in March of 1993. So this one came first, and then they changed it, I guess, because they were they decided to keep on going with the series. Now, Ashley McConnell, who wrote this one, I haven't done a deep dive on her yet. Um, I want to read the next one um, and see how I like that, and I'll talk more about her in the next video, um, I, whether or not I like the book or not, or I'm considering continuing on with the series or not. I'll let you guys know in that video. But uh, McConnell wrote, I think, the first three or four books, and then it was pretty much passed off to a whole slew of diff other of other authors. Um, it the the novels the some of them are from what I understand some of them are direct adaptations novelizations of uh, 
the series shows. So you would get basically it's just a novelization of what you've already seen on the show. This one, however, is a standalone story, and I think all of Ashley's, uh, Ashley McConnell's books are standalone. But I'll get back to you on that one next time. Um, I, like I said, I loved this book. I loved every bit of it. Um, the, the thing that I liked the most about it was the deeper dives into Al's character. We get, we get some of his misogynistic, womanizer ways in, in the show. Um, and the more I watch that, the more I'll be able to tell you how well they do on that and whether or not they go into it more um, in the show. But in this one, you get a really, really deep dive into why Al is the way he is. The, the reason why he cheats all the time, the reason why he's a woman womanizer and misogynist, that kind of thing. Um, you, there's also less of a religious aspect to the books. Um, there's also a very heavy uh, theme. Uh, in, in fact, let's go back to that for a second, the religious aspect, because uh, I, was, I was rather shocked when I started watching the television show. A lot of the stuff in there, it was very, very weird because you have this heavy Christian, maybe even Catholic mindset, yet you're dealing with a character who's having to travel back in time to fix something, and if if God is infallible and he can't make mistakes, why is he why does he have this guy running around? He almost treats Ziggy like Ziggy is God, but he also references like the sky. You know, he talks to the sky, talks to the sun, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, but also he's always talking about, you know, God's will, all, all this stuff. In the book, that's pretty absent, at least in this one. Um, there is a strong uh, theme of misogyny throughout the book, and I'm not talking about there's a lot of misogyny in the book. I'm talking about uh, there's the, the main character, the main female character, is treated basically like a child. Um, and she's fighting her way, trying to be respected, which is complete opposite of what the television show is like. And I'm wondering if it's because the writer here was, was a female. I would suspect so, anyways. Um, and I'm not sure who wrote the first couple episodes of the, the TV series, but I know the guy that created it was Donald P. Belisario. But... Um, it, like in episode, I think it's either five or six, it's a cowboy-themed one. Um, they're basically going to be auctioning off this daughter of this rancher to whoever, to whoever will, you know, whoever can beat her at cowboy stuff. Um, and I was thinking, okay, she's going to prove that she's just as much of a cowboy, whatever, cowgirl. She's a better, better at cowboy, whatever you want to call it, better at being a ranch hand than the guys. But no, they pretty much, you know, put her in this role like, you know, you have to give in to your, to your female ways and your places to get married and have kids. So she ends up falling in love with Sam or, you know, she ends up falling in love with one of the characters anyways. But that's the TV series. This is completely different because this woman is fighting tooth and nail trying to get people to respect her. Um, and she, it's coming from all different aspects. Um, and sometimes it's warranted. That, at, what I mean warranted is there's one person trying to talk some sense into her, and she's being hard-headed because everybody else treats her like that. So she, she has a reason to act like that, so it's believable as far as the character is concerned. But then you have these other jackasses who like, you can't do this, you're a woman, I should have control, that kind of thing. I appreciated that aspect in the book, and I'm hoping that continues throughout the series of novels. I'm excited, y'all. I, I don't know if you can tell or not. I am extremely excited to find a... I, I love this TV series, and I love to read. So these two things together, like, it, it's, it's a dream come true for me. But have you guys read... I haven't heard from anybody yet that I know who has read these books. I know some people who went out and uh, searched them out when they saw me post pictures of these things on Instagram. Uh, people are going out and paying stupid amounts of money for them, considering what I got them for, of course. Um, and I even the one that I ordered, um, no, book number two, cost me five bucks. So, I mean, even I'm going and spending well above what uh, what I paid for the rest of it. I paid more for that one book than I did the entire series so far. Um, it's funny how you do that, though. You know, you find something you love, you know, cheap, and then you just dive into it wholeheartedly. That's what like used books are for. You know, you you find that you find you test the waters for a cheap price, and then you go and you spend money on the actual thing. I don't think you can get these new, so the only way you can get them is used. 
Anyways, um, I'm not sure they're on Kindle. I'd have to check on that also. If you guys want a deep dive into this stuff, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!